embarking on this special project to perform the cycle of Bach suites in this beautiful hall allowed me to further explore the possibilities and boundaries of presenting traditional classical music in a fresh light, while ideally preserving its pure oral integrity. The visual component, a combination of projected photography, video and lighting, stems from my experience producing the multimedia show Te Amo Argentina. The projected backdrops, a sort of virtual opera set, become a stimulus for reflection and offer an inspired ornament to the setting, transporting us to fantastical and unimagined venues. Mark Swed of the Los Angeles Times eloquently describes a similar concert experience. To transform the space in which the music is performed through projections that alter one's perception of space, place, and just maybe sound. The most conspicuous feature of this performance is my non-traditional cello. You will not see the golden varnish of my 300-year-old Italian cello but rather a gleaming modern Lewis and Clark carbon fiber cello made in Boston in 2014. This cello is light and quick to respond, which among other benefits, facilitates surprising physical freedom. Performing the cycle on this cello also pushes the boundaries of interpretation, juxtaposing the contemporary and the ancient. I'm especially curious about how such an instrument will affect the evolution of performance in classical music. Hundreds of scholars have studied and written about the Bach suites, yet we can only speculate about how or when they were first performed. The original manuscript is lost, leaving us with various facsimiles to decipher, and there are no written accounts by Bach's contemporaries. The one advantage of this predicament is the wide spectrum of artistic decisions on which a cellist is compelled to ruminate in order to make them their own. Apparently the suites were not originally intended to be performed as a cycle, although this approach has become increasingly common in the last couple of decades. My current perspective, developed over many years of performing and teaching the suites, is that each of the six tells a distinctive story, and like a series of books or films, each component is woven into a broader narrative. Presenting these works in chronological order highlights this overall structure, as well as Bach's astoundingly fluent compositional style. He begins in the first suite with youthful simplicity, and after choreographing an array of preludes and dances with heavenly sophistication, ends with the glorious, life-affirming sixth suite. 
It is as if the cycle is an etched outline of life itself in one continuous brushstroke.